books of my series on Apex Legends, they will be going over one of the easiest, yet honestly more difficult characters to actually master, and that's Lifeline. Lifeline is a tutorial character. Everybody that starts Apex Legends is forced to play her in a tutorial. But that doesn't mean that everybody understands how to use her or even fully, you know, master her. With that being said, Lifeline is a very easy character. As I said, as I said it previously, all you really need to do is hold square. At least that's what most people will just tell you, just hold square. And there is some truth behind that. Nine times out of ten, your job is to hold square. But as you get better, you need to be able to support your teammates while at the same time still have the capacity to harm the enemy team and deal damage. Because at the end of the day, if your job is just a revive spot, you would basically just be a hamper on your team. Because somebody, you could literally just get somebody that can shoot and will do 10 times better because you'll be able to kill somebody. It won't be 2v3s. With that being said, you need to have a very good sense of awareness. You need to have a lot of awareness. In fact, you should always be the second or third one being knocked. You should never be the first one being knocked. It's going to happen. With that being said, you should not be the first one being knocked. Going over abilities, as I said previously, she has the ability to revive her teammates with a shield in front of them. That's her passive. For her tactical, she has the ability to drop a drone, which allows to heal anybody that's in a certain range. When I mean anybody, I mean anybody. So it heals enemies that aren't not, and it heals players like on your team. So you have to be cautious of that, because if you drop your, your L1 too close to enemies, they can take it and steal it for their own. The drone disappears at a certain amount of time, but also that time decreases when you're outside the ring, so be careful of that. As well, she has low profile, meaning she takes 5% more damage than normal. Lastly is her care package, which is the weakest out of all of her abilities. Simply put, when you're dropping the care package, if anybody's smart, they'll look up in the sky and notice that a care package is dropping faster than usual. In case you didn't know, there's random care packages that spawn all around the map with another care package that's landing in extremely fast and lets you know that there's a lifeline out there, given where you position. Learning how to play lifeline is a mix between really everything you need to know how to do in Apex. You need to have a perfect harmony when it comes to playing. You need to know how to push, you need to know how to defend, and you need to know how to revive. You need to know when to do everything. The only thing is though is that lifeline makes it a little bit easier on the more difficult quote you know harder to read scenario at higher ranks you'll see lifeline being dwindled out more and more through lobby so you'll see less and less of them but at the same time it's mostly stemmed off of the stigma that lifelines have which is just a revive bot but with that being said lifeline isn't just a revive bot lifeline is a very powerful character but there's characters that bring in more uses than her that are more conventional for Apex Legends. With that being said though, she is still a very powerful character and every character in support class is very powerful. So don't underestimate it and don't get it twisted. With that being said, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.